Hi everyone, in this session we're going to do page 33 of the JPEGD workbook. This is part one of the three part series. Here is the answer of our drawing and this is the goal towards which we are working. If we look at the top view, we will see we have three sections of this structure that we want to draw and therefore we are dividing this lesson into the three parts. So we want to attempt each part as we go along. We will work our way from one to three and then come back to the pool at number two within the structure. Here we have been provided with the answer sheet. On the answer sheet printed for us is the top view and a side view. And from here we will notice that there is a 30 degree slant to the left and a 60 degree slant to the right. We have a swimming pool, we have a step, and then we have a hip roof. So this is the challenges that we need to consider. When we look at our side view, we will see this uh, swimming pool over here and the step over there. So let's start with the drawing. We have already determined that we have a slant of 30 degrees of our structure to the left. Therefore, we're going to determine the left vanishing point by starting at the standpoint and we are going to view the structure from the standpoint to keep that in mind. And then with that 30 degree slant, we're going to carry on all the way to the picture plane and then straight down 90 degrees from the picture plane. We're going to go and project the down to the left vanishing point where we have the horizontal line that will give us the position of our left vanishing point. Next, we have the 60 degree slant, which is going to go to the right. So therefore, from the standpoint, we're going to go for 60 degrees. Now, from the standpoint, all the way to our picture plane. Once we hit the picture plane, we're going to project straight 90 degrees downward. And on the horizontal line, we will determine our right vanishing point. With the left and right vanishing points determined, please keep in mind we are viewing our object, our building structure in this case, from the standpoint. So that is our point of view from which we are observing this model. And therefore, we have to continuously make sure that that is the perspective that we are going to follow when we look especially at depth. So we want to look also at all the different surfaces that are slanted to the left. And then we also want to look at the surfaces that are slanted to the right. So this will give us a good idea of where we're going, which uh, corners we will need to project to the left and right vanishing points as we go through this drawing. Now I'd like to say that the first phase of our constructions is done. So determining the left and right vanishing points is what I refer to as phase one. So now we're going to phase two, where we are going to start off by drawing in the first anchor line. Now I refer to this as an anchor line. Many people refer to it as a height line. It's the same thing, but I just want to make sure that I understand that this anchor line or height line is then used for the purpose of where I project all my heights to in the end of the day so that I can use those heights and project them to my left and right vanishing points. So that's the purpose of this anchor line. And this I will see as my main building. So therefore I refer to this as my main anchor line. You can create secondary anchor lines as you go through the drawing which you will see as we go along. Secondly, what I want to do now is I want to draw the second anchor line that is now from the corner of the part where we have the swimming pool. So this corner projected straight down and I always take it down to the ground line. You don't have to, but I like to draw it all the way down and make sure that all these constructions are light because obviously we're gonna end up with a lot of lines in the end of the day. The next part that we want to do is we want to take our heights that we see are the main heights we want to start off with initially in our drawing. So for the first part, I have taken the height of the steps and the um, windows lowest end and then the top of the window, then the bottom of the roof and then the tip of the hip roof. We have taken all the way up 
and uh, you will see why I've taken them to the places where I have at this stage. But that is for later. So this is just the step that we want to get to up to this point is to determine those anchor lines and then to draw in the construction lines that will determine the placement of the height on those anchor lines that we will use. We're going to start the construction by taking the far left edge of our main building towards our standpoint. So we want to make sure that that far left corner of our building goes directly to the standpoint. Now, all of you should know by now that we are not going to construct that line all the way and that we actually only need to draw to the picture plane and where it breaks off at the picture plane we can now actually go and from there just draw it 90 degrees straight down. Now you can take it all the way to the ground line if you like, or if you just have an idea of how far you know need to go low, you can use that. Okay, so that's the first one that we want to determine. And then what we want to do is we want to do the same with our intersection over here and over here. Take it first to the SP, so that would have gone all the way to the SP. That one would have gone all the way to the SP, but we broke it off at the picture plane. So from the picture plane, we now have our lines going 90 degrees straight down. And that will help us with our construction now further when we want to determine all the different heights at those different areas of our building. We now want to determine the lowest and highest part of our wall going to the left and right vanishing point that is of the main building. So where the main anchor line now intersects with the ground line. From there we want to now go and project a light construction line all the way to our light van left vanishing point. And when we have done that we are also going to go back to the projection that we got from our roof's height. And at the main anchor line, we're going to then project that construction line all the way to the left vanishing point. And that will give us the left view of our building's um, lowest and highest part. And then we also want to go now to the right vanishing point. So we return to the anchor point here on the uh, ground line. And once again, we're going to go to the right vanishing point in this case all the way from the bottom and we will hit the right vanish point and that will give us the slope or angle at, at which our depth of perspective will disappear to for the right side of the building and then we are going to also go and take that height that we have already determined now on the main anchor line and like we did to the left we're now just going to do it to the right we're going to project that all the way to the right vanishing point as well so that will give us the lowest and the highest part of our wall to the right and to the left of our vanishing points so what we want to do from here is try and draw in solid everything that we can at this stage so as you will see i've drawn in solid the left edge of the house, which will uh, be uninterrupted. So those walls, outer edges will be solid. And then also going to the right, the top edge of the wall, I know those will be solid. Now you could have drawn in solid this part over here if you wanted to, but that is your choice. Normally I leave that for later. So for what it's worth, uh, draw in solid what you need. What I wanna draw your attention to is the tip of the roof. So at the top reach of the roof, I projected with the blue line it all the way to this anchor line over here. Now, how did I get that anchor? Why did I use that anchor line? Because we know that the reach of the roof, that very top edge of the roof is over there. We just continued with the projection of that all the way at the slant of 30 degrees to where we hit the picture plane and we projected it down from there. So that is where the blue height line intersected with that guideline that we have projected. So from there, we can now go and draw a light green construction line. You will just draw it light with your pencil. And uh, what will happen is it will show us exactly at what angle towards the left vanishing point we will find the top reach of our roof. So if our roof is on somewhere 
on that green line we just need to determine where so now i'm going to draw your attention to this reference point over here on the right hand side of the roof and then look closely at the animation where the line is now projected towards the uh, stand point and then when it hits the picture plane we projected it straight down now to that green line that we created and that is where we now have the reference point for this corner let's call that uh, number one so this is the reference point for number one of the tip of our roof and once we have done that we're going to do the same now with uh, the tip of the roof here on the left we call that number two and we're going to do a projection to the standpoint and bring it straight down from the picture plane onto that green line again and where it hits the green line we will now have our reference point two over there so we know that the reach of the roof is going to be in that part over there as you can see we now have drawn in the edges of the roof so just to explain how i got that so we had the corner of the tip there and over there so that was one and that was two so all that we did was now from this front corner on the left, we just connected with a solid line from the bottom to the top. And then on the far right, also just a solid line there and connected number one and two with a solid line. And then on this far bottom left hand corner, we just connected the line solid over there. And that will then give us the shape of our roof, which we will now obviously have drawn solid. So we could um, finish the roof at that stage. Now we are going to, to position the window that we see here on the side view. So we want to take that window's height and uh, we want to work with them for the stage. So from where the main anchor line's lowest point of the window is and where the highest point of that window is, you would see I have now projected this light green line going all the way to the left vanishing point there at the bottom part of the window and the top part of the window is also going to the left vanishing point. So I know on those two lines I will find the lowest and the highest parts of my window. So that is the next part that I want to determine and I know my window will be positioned somewhere now between those two heights. So on my top view, I know there and there is indicated the space for where the opening of my window would be. So from there, we are going to work our next step. So we know where the opening of that window area would be on our top view and look closely at the animation. So I'm going to project now to the ESP and bring it down straight from there and it is very small to see but there also here we projected to the sp and then on the picture plane we projected straight down so those orange lines will then indicate for us the positioning of our guidelines where we will then find the opening of our window so in the end of the day we know that here and here is where the far left and far right edges of the opening would be now what we need to do is uh, we already know the height and uh, the lowest and the highest part of that opening for the window area so we are just going to go and draw that in and that will give us the position of our window i always like to make sure and i double check that i have these corners perfectly correctly positioned and uh, everything in drawings works on reference points so those are my four reference points that i receive as my anchors from which i would do my projections our next step is now to determine the inside depth of the windows or that opening that we represent as a window so what we see here is at the top view that bottom uh, or left corner at the back uh, where our hidden detail of the inside of the wall um, meets that opening. So if we were standing at the standpoint and we're viewing at the building in that direction, that inside of that opening is the only one that we would be able to see. We wouldn't see the one on the right hand side because we're viewing the building at this view from the standpoint. And therefore we need to take this inside corner 
of that opening and project that now to our um, answer. So with the animation, you will see there's a line going towards the standpoint, break off at the picture plane, going straight down to our answer. Now at our answer at the bottom, we now see this part of the line, but we do not know how far that line must go down. So when we want to determine the height of that line or the length of that line, we now need to focus again our attention on this bottom left hand corner of our window. And we will project that corner now to the right vanishing point. And when we do that, we will draw in a light construction line like that. Now we see how those two intersect with one another and where they meet with one another, that would be the inside corner. So we could draw in solid that part for our window as well. And we can now also work in reverse from this inside corner that we have towards our left vanishing point. So we can actually place our ruler now on the left vanishing point through that intersection and just draw in reverse that thickness of the wall at the bottom there. And that will conclude for us the construction for that. So let's look at what the result looks like. Now we can draw in solid the inside edges of our thickness for the opening in the wall. As you can see here, that will conclude the first part of this construction. In our next part, we will carry on by drawing the next stage of our drawing.